Greetings everybody, John Sire here. This is my channel, Wiki Game Guides, and today I wanted to show you why it's actually, why I think it's really important to spend your first 20,000 souls in Dark Souls 3 on this key right here, the tower key. So I'm gonna show you all the items you can actually get with the tower key that are hidden around Firelink Shrine and explain why I think it's actually really important to buy that key and not just uh, use the glitch jump. So after the game finishes loading, oh, that's the main entrance. So Firelink Shrine is kind of confusing. It's got a circular layout. You want to make your way all the way upstairs here. The tower key gets used on this door right here. Now, I should point out that there is actually a glitch that's usable right now where you can sprint. It's kind of hard to pull off, but you can sprint off that tree and kind of bounce and land right on the roof and get the item and get um, a couple of the starting items but not all of the items that you can get with the tower key so use the tower key make your way upstairs and I'll show those those glitch uh, potential items you can get with the glitch first and then I'll show the rest of the good ones you're gonna make your way to this bridge you want to fall down here and first things first kick down the ladder get the shortcut open now let's check out the the new uh, birds in the game. You can give them items, and unlike Dark Souls 2 where they wanted like smooth and silky stones, you can give them a variety of items. I don't know all the different options you can give them, but fire bombs, for example, if you go to your inventory and leave one of them, you can't leave multiples of them. They will and they will then turn that into a large titanite shard. Pretty good item for early game. There's a couple other items around the roof up here. A couple homeward bones, those will come in handy early in the game. Now let's make our way up into the very top part. You can see the bonfire way down below. The very tippy top again. This item right here is a Estus shard. Oh shit! Damn it. <laughs> Uh, so, gravity strikes again. I am <laughs> now back at the top of the Firelink Shrine. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very high up right now. I just picked up that Estus Flask Shard, and at the end, uh, you can kind of see directly uh, above that big throne, an invisible wall. Run straight forward a little bit more, and then drop down behind the big throne. And over here is an essential item that you will probably end up using for the majority of your first playthrough. The Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, which increases souls earned. It just says Fallen Foals yield more souls, but it increases it by 10%. So a boss that would normally drop a thousand souls will now give you 1,100, which is a great item to have early game. So now let's take a look. Let's go back up to the roof and I'll show you why I actually think it's really important to buy uh, the key super early. So now we're back up on this bridge and we can drop down and go back on that roof again or as you can see you can also drop down to the right and there's a couple of titanite bugs down there that'll either give i, I can't remember if they give you large shards or uh twinkling titanite we make our way over here and we're going to go up this elevator in a second but the first thing i wanted to point out is that item right there is a great set of armor for early game they're actually the full firekeeper robe set and if you're going for like a low, uh, low strength, low dex, or low strength, probably high health, like rolling build, as, as opposed to something that's using a shield a lot, that's a great set of armor. Now that item on the other side, which you can get, um, it, which is at the very bottom, is an Estus ring, which increases how many, or how much every Estus flask that you drink actually heals. And I ended up using that game through almost my entire first playthrough as well. And this item, up at the very tippy top, is the Firekeeper Soul, which is an item that you're going to give to uh, the Firekeeper down way at the bottom. And that is going to help you out with another series of side quests uh, where you get a curse from Yol, and uh, with that Firekeeper Soul, she will then be able to heal, heal you. So Alright, let's see if I can get this jump this time. Uh, I think so. The, the tricky part about this is you can actually over jump it, and if you hit the the kind of the, the wall behind the item, it's going to push you back, and you won't even be able to land on the thing you need to. So you want to aim if you're looking just left of that column right there. 
this little line right there is what you want to follow. Yes, and roll. You do not want to jump. Oh, no, God. Oh, my God, I almost fell. Fire keep robe, gloves, and robes, glove, and skirt. So heal before you fall again. Oh, God, please live. Whew. Man, early game, you do not have a lot of health. And this item right here is the Estus Ring. And I'm going to equip all of that right now because they are fantastically good, especially early game. So anyway, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, now, for the end of this, I'm going to... Because I, I made this, this character just to show off with live commentary all those items. And I'm not going to do anything else with this character. So I'm going to go kill everybody else in Firelink Shrine. Just to see what items they drop. Because this playthrough is done. Uh, one character that I killed that's not going to be on this video is the giant that you can offer um, the uh, the branch to, the white branch, that is like throwing the giant arrows. And if you give him the branch, he stops throwing stuff at you. And if you kill him, he gives you the hawk ring, which is an item that increases the distance that arrows can be fired. So if you're going for an archer build, it's probably worth killing him. So let's kill this guy here, Ludlith. Wow, very easy to kill. Gives you no souls whatsoever. And the Skull Ring, let's see what that is. Easier to be detected by enemies. Oh, that's a fun one to have. <laughs> All right, well, not worth killing him. Uh, let's see here. I bet this guy's gonna fight back. No, well, only way to find out. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Hawkwood the deserter. Well, then he's a deserter, and he parried me, and I'm dead. Wow, this might take a try or two to actually kill him. It is really hard to shield break some of these human uh, AI movement, dude. Oh, he's out of Estus flasks. Oh, that was kind of cool. He still tried to heal, and then realized, nope, I don't have any more Sunny D. Oh, shoot. That got under my shield. <gasps> Hawkwood, thank you for dying, finally. Thank you for being a friend. 1,100 souls. And a heavy gem. That increases scaling on a weapon. Uh, it, it boosts, like, the strength scaling on a weapon. All right, let's... Ooh, I wonder... Eh. You can kill her. I wonder if she's going to be gone later. Let's find out. And she gives you nothing. Okay. Andre. He's got a lot of health. And he's just sitting there. <laughs> he cannot be distracted from his work. Enough of that. No. For sure you're hurt. And he gives you nothing. Great. Uh, there might be an NPC up above. Yes, he is right there. Next to the big uh, throne. Alright, ring finger. You're gonna die this time. So I found out, actually, that uh, the major NPCs, like the merchants and uh, Andre and stuff like that, if you kill them, they actually just respawn as if nothing ever happened when you come back, when you teleport back in. Oh, ring finger, quick healing. Man, I need those uh, Lloyd's talismans, or whatever they're called in this game. The item that prevent them from healing. Ooh, fancy moves don't do nothing if you can't hit. Please, please, please die. Oh, ring finger, thank you for leaving this mortal coil. He's gonna drop an item for me. Silver mask. Oh, we dropped a couple items. Silver mask and a lift chamber key? Lift chamber key? I don't remember which key that is. I'll have to see if I got that on my other playthrough. Let's take a look at the silver mask. It looks really cool. Uh, doesn't look like it has any passive abilities. None of the weapons or weapons, armor, or anything in this game seem to have any sort of passive abilities, like increased souls, like uh, killing the armor and Majula would do. So, uh, I noticed that when I respawned after dying to him the first time, 
all these guys came back to life too. <laughs> you can kill them as much as you want, they don't drop any items. <laughs> so if you're just feeling upset with the game and you need to take your rage out because one of the bosses is giving you too many headaches, you can just uh, kill Andre if you're feeling up for it. You can kill him as many times as you want. Enough of that. Well, you're not gonna fight back, bitch. Suck it, Andre. Let's go kill the Firekeeper as well. Watch her fight back or something. No items? No items? Hey, okay, so when you teleport out, they will all respawn. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch, for scaring the hell out of me. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Dark Souls 3 updates. I've got a ton of stuff planned. I'm really enjoying the hell out of this game. And game on.